sipping Kim juice because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like too to funny do. Mama. <laughs> so, <laughs> Hey, live from New York. It's two funny mamas. mamas. Wait a minute. Can I ask you something? What? I'm Why so you excited. Why you ain't wipe the screen off? Yeah, wipe the screen off. No, I got, I got some screen wipe. You, you talk. Oh, you talk and let me go. Hey, no, no, no. We don't miss just this little part right here. Just take your shirt. How y'all doing? I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. Okay, so hold up. Because you got to put your little makeup on. Hold up. Y'all excuse the black. You made it more blurry. Look at it. No, uh -uh. look at you it's looking clean. all crispy. Oh, okay. Girl, if I don't look like Loretta Lynn or somebody, what You do is, look like Loretta Lynn. What the boof of the hairstyle? <laughs> you look like Loretta Lynn. You really I'll do. I'll take it. You, you look like you're about like to sing a country you song. You look cute. You can tell you was working today. You look now, I'm just, my, my wig look like it's, it's all crazy. That's a it's cute so look messed up. wig. It's very youthful, though. For real? Mm -hmm. I did not like this wig. We changed it three times before the doors open because I was like, I don't like the hair. And they put it long. They didn't the hair. Didn't, Willie didn't like it. He said it didn't match the, outfit. the pants. Yeah, the and he was like, it was just a mess. So y'all got to said hair and clothes have to go together, especially when you're on TV. It does. If, if it's a high collar, you need a short. You can't have. And this one is not pinned up, so it's it's creeping because they didn't. It was right before the door was supposed to open, and they threw it on. So he didn't really get to put a pin in, so it just keeps creeping, and then it starts going back. So like you gonna, I didn't. Been and you gonna do that on national television? <laughs> you gonna right. really not put a pin in your head on national TV? But no, because we didn't have time. No, and no, so, no. You got time. You gonna have time to pick right that now? wig up? I put one in here. No, right I'm now. saying is, if it fell off on national TV, you gonna have time to pick it up? No, because it's live. If my wig falls off on live that TV, point. that would be horrible. Do you understand, like? Then the show would be called Kim. Kim fills in permanently. <laughs> no, it'd be like ratings just went up. No, your ratings ain't, ain't nobody gonna be trying to because my wig didn't fell off. That was the thing. And so when the when the music comes on, it says we're gonna have a good time, and I run. I'm hot flashing real bad right now. Really? Um, yeah, I'm, I think it's because you're next to me. I am. I'm used to doing this by myself. But if the if the it, I run out because I'm trying to get to my seat by the time the song ends. And this lady went to hug me, but I didn't have a, I only had the one bobby pin in my hair. And I pulled back and I could see like her feelings were kind of hurt. I why? could see it in her I eyes and I felt Christmas. bad. That's why I said to, when I oh. sat in my chair, I said, I only got one bobby pin in this wig. And if you hug me and then the other people start hugging me and the wig. Oh, I'm sorry, I got to tell you. We're in New York. And if the wig falls off, we're gonna be in trouble. It's a live show. Like I can't have my wig falling. We're only in the first season. I'm in New York, y'all. And what did you do in New York? Your phone's still ringing. So no, Stacy. When you what were in New did York, I, I've been in New York all day. Answer, because she might be saying you muffled or something. Let me see. That's Stacy McClain. Stacy McClain, we're doing the podcast. I'm in New York. When she says she's sorry. Call me later. It's good. Andre, you talk to Andre. It don't even change, not even in New York. Did we freeze? I talked to Andre. Andre said he's gonna have it done by the night. See, look it's, at that. It's amazing. It no matter what city Kim is in or country you go with it? Kim is in, she will always have ADD, completely distracted. But he didn't say he was finished. At, okay, I'll call you back. Okay, I'll call you back. All right, bye. Because Kim will take care of a problem. I will. On the podcast, you want some water? We got some water. Right? I thought you were going to say some wine. I was like, no, I don't yeah. have any wine. How do you have a talk show and ain't got no wine? Because I don't drink. But your guests do. Not really. They don't. You never ask. Because I don't drink. So I don't That's ask. you not drinking. You got to worry about other people. Okay. okay. Like, I said I'm going to steal everything. There's really nothing to steal. But oh, no, there's a bunch of most People send you a lot of stuff. They do. Ooh. They send a lot of stuff. There's a lot of books. Because well, because people want to come on the show, so they they send me a copy of their book. Oh, and they or they'll send me like um, their product, or they will send me just every anytime anybody wants to be on the show, they just send me what they want to promote. Oh, but the thing yes, about it is, a little. I got that R. Kelly tape, but go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I, oops. <laughs> did she say R. Kelly? Oh, good night. I was supposed to be laughing at that. I did. That's Here's the I thing did. that I'm learning about doing a talk show that mm -hmm. I didn't know. Uh, I thought that when I got my own talk show, I would be able to book anybody I wanted. Like I made promises to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was like, true. when I get my own talk show, you're going to be on. And what I am finding out, the, the, the real thing about talk shows is everything is about ratings. 
you have to, it, it has to get ratings whoever gets booked and so or you have to have a big enough budget so if you don't get high ratings mm -hmm. you have to have a budget to support the show where they're just like you know what we're invested in you now i'm on a show we don't have a big budget right and so ratings are really important so like you're going to be on valentine's day show the day after valentine you're going to rate very high we're going to get high numbers because i'm going to pull them up <laughs> real to the chin you're going to get very high numbers I'm going to get nine so, numbers because we foolish. Because you're foolish and people know you. But a lot of times somebody wants to come on our show and you, they're not known. And I would like to spotlight them. But if the numbers don't go up mm -hmm. when people like, and sometimes oh, people- Oh, then they won't let you let another person they on. They won't let like me that. let another person on. So people are creatures of habit. When you turn on your TV show, you'll go, oh, who's on? Oh, Brad Pitt is on. I'm watching. Oh, Idris Elba on. I'm watching. Oh, Ooh, Angela Bassett on. I'm going to watch. So that's why they always have a lot of celebrities on. Oh. But when you go, oh, wait a minute, Kim Whitley, I don't know who she is. Okay, well, let me turn on Ellen. So it's all about ratings. Why you got to use me as an example? Well, no, but they know. Well, I'm using you as an example for big. Okay, I'm going to use Chris Denman. I'm in New York. <laughs> if Chris Denman from Mid Coast Media wants to come on the show to promote Mid Coast Media, it's because he has people on his show, Alonzo oh. Bod, and he's got, you know, a show called Two. Two fun mamas. Um, Why are you messing up everything? You're talking all his stuff. I'm just proud of her for getting my last name right after five no. years. She got my last name right this time, Kim. Because I used to be Chris Densman. It only took me four years. I did too. But if Chris Denman said, I just want to come on and promote because I, I uplift people and I want to bring them on the show because I uplift them. If that's not going to move the ratings, mm -hmm. like we could have Chris on the show and then the next day have somebody else. But my show's going to get canceled. Because yeah. the ratings are so I'm learning that's the ugly side to talk show because mm. I want to bring on so many people, but we don't have a big budget, yeah. So, and be it, you know, and, and it's hard because there's a lot hard. of people that we believe in, absolutely, we believe in, but you know, the masses might not. But the mat, if the masses don't know them yeah. and don't stay, they they calculate ratings per every 30 seconds. They can tell me oh my when you did this joke, the the what? number of people stop watching. When you talk too long about this, oh, I have these meetings all the time really? where they say, Sherry, you it's talk too long about this subject and the ratings drop. The numbers of people who watched it drop. But when you talked about oh. Kim Kardashian, so when people say to me, why, why you always talk about Kim Kardashian? People like to hear about That's that. The that numbers go up. You, when you talk about the Kardashians, wow. the numbers go up. Now you got a small amount of people who go, I don't want to hear about that. But the masses like it. They like when I talk about Real Housewives. Yep. But when I talk about, you know, uh, Jeremiah did this and he rescued was a, a dog. Bull. He was, Jeremiah oh, was a bull, a bullfrog. They oh, go, Kim, eh. Kim, Kim, Kim. <laughs> mm. Sherry, so, real question. Where's, yes. the, where's the room for creativity to take those swings for something that may be a big hit? Do they actually allow for that? Um, you have to have, you have to come out the box with very high ratings. You have to be a proven success. So I'm still proving myself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and that's why a lot of, you know, also big celebrities don't come on my show because yes. they're still waiting. When you're a really big celebrity and y'all have to put in the Excuse comments, me. if this is boring, then we will move to another topic because I always explain this, this stuff to Kim because she wants a talk show and she thinks when she can go on a talk show, she can get on and go, we got this little guest coming up and she thinks she can keep doing this in the camera and doing this in the camera and showing people her damn feet. So I try to tell her what I'm learning because she will get a talk show because that's we believe in Kim. But I just I always tell her everything that I learn. Huh? You silly. So creative. That's why I have my laugh lounge which, you know, I fought for my laugh lounge, but we have to have comics who've done TV before because there's a difference. Oh look boy. At this. There it is. I was on the plane. I was on the plane. Let's, I'm, I'm stay gonna stay figure, let's stop talking about talk show. C C T, here you go, Sherry, to answer your question. C T says, Sherry, we like these insights. Uh, Terrence Saunders says, this is good stuff. Delphinia says, it's interesting learning. Uh, no, it's not. Keep going, says Michelle <laughs> Owens. I'm gonna it's say one thing. It's not boring, says Melissa. I love you when too. When I was on the View, Monique somebody came on. 
Thanks, Chris. Somebody can people used to try to get on the view all the time. Mm -hmm. And and I remember one person said, I have a book about, you know, about children of color coming up missing. And I want to talk, oh no, being bullied, like kids being bullied. And I want to come on the show because it's great information, it's tips. And I had to tell them, unfortunately, we can't, they're not gonna book you about kids getting bullied because people will turn a TV. But if Beyonce comes on with your book and does a song, if she does cuff it and she wants to talk about kids being bullied, they'll book it. Because oh. people will turn it on and be like, I don't care what Beyonce is talking about. Right. You know, so if we had Kim Kardashian on the show, the numbers would go. <laughs> Any of the Kardashians. How does that because go? Bite them. <laughs> 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 uh, because they won't come on my show. They'll come on, they'll go on the view. People, oh, I was gonna say, and then we'll get on another celebrities typically, the publicists on a new show, they yeah. always wait because they want to wait and see. They want to see what the ratings look like. They want to see, because they're not putting Brad Pitt on a show and the ratings go down and it gets canceled because it looks bad for him. That's why it's such a big deal that Joe Biden wants to do Fox Soul. Did you know that? Uh, well, yeah, with Vivica. That? With Vivica Wait, Fox. Why Vivica asked him? No. The, the White House said they want to do it because they probably, somebody on their team said, this is a show that has a lot of African-Americans watching. And it would behoove you to get on the show, Biden, because you need black people to stay in the office. Yeah. So I thought when y'all was texting me, I thought it was Fox News. No, Vivica Fox. He was supposed. No, no, he was supposed to do Fox News. Okay. He they canceled it, and he said he was going to go to Fox Soul. Vivica Fox. She's an actress. Kid. She's an actress and performer. Uh, I don't know one of her remember. best friends. I don't know if you remember her from our June live show at the Laugh Factory, Kim. She's very talented. Yeah. I know set it off. Was she Cleo? And said, yeah, she still texts me from time to time. Yeah, Vivica, sweet. Now she won't be texting you. She get Joe Biden on. She that's sure how big. That's she never big. texts me in her life. <laughs> if she gets Joe Biden on Fox I Soul, are number. you are you kidding me? Their ratings are going to surpass everybody's. Speaking of Fox Soul, Lisa Ray's mother passed. Lisa you're, Ray, I not texted her. Kim, you're kind of far from the mic. Just a heads up. I don't and know then, why, she why am I far from the mic? Because you're fading like, away, sleeping. But if you scoot up a little she, bit, what? You you can go in the um. Oh, now she moves over. Because you still had room. I didn't. Yeah. Okay. What did Everybody, I text you at the start of the show? That, move over, but Sherry was in the middle because she's used to doing talk show by herself. <laughs> <laughs> We are live from New York, and I'm so excited that Kim I'm in is Sherry's here. dressing room. She's in my dressing room. But here's the thing. I thought Kim was getting in tonight. She got in this morning at 9 in the morning. Didn't call anybody to let us know she, she was, was here. sitting in the hotel room waiting on y'all to call me. That's right. You waiting. I'm like, we went to see Creed. Okay. Just rub it because down. tomorrow, Michael B. Jordan, Tessa Thompson, and... Um, what time Michael going to be here? Let me get here early. Yeah, you should. You should. I should. Hey, Mike, what's up? Mikey, Mike. Oh. Yes, he's coming by. Jonathan Majors is going to oh, be Oh, I don't know Jonathan, but I'd be nice to But you will want to. And because Creed, they was, we had their shirts oh, off most was, of the time. Okay, maybe I should. So those, you know, so that's really important because they decided to make me their first stop. I'm glad that's important. Which is really, really important. However, they probably will still be doing The View, so we'll air after The View, but... um. Yeah, the, look at this girl. This is how you love me. That's the wrong major, huh? It's the wrong major. No, major's gonna be here. Oh, and that's the right major. What? He's coming. He'll be what here you tomorrow. Just said Jonathan, I'm so confused. It's two majors. Jonathan Majors will be here. Uh huh. And major. This is how you love. Wait, wait. This is why, why I love, love you. you. This, this is, is why, why I love you. Wait, because wait. Oh, you gonna hit that note in my face? No, I don't know that. Because I was. You did it. it. You. <laughs> You love me. Wait, can I ask you something? What? They're both going to be here tomorrow? Yes. Ma Major will be here. Oh, I got And you. Jonathan Majors will be here. Guess who else is going to be here? Who said yes to me? True. Candy girl. You're on my world. New addition. You look so sweet. The whole group? The whole group. Bobby, Ronnie, Ricky, Mike. Johnny. And I'm missing one. First Ralph. Of all, Johnny's my good friend. And Bobby's my good friend. All of them, your good friends. True. When and they're, they're coming. <laughs> uh, they will be here March 2nd. And guess what? Oh. It's a whole day of new edition. 
Like nobody else is going to be here. Are you going to do the steps with them? No, I don't think they'll let me. You don't think I'm so? I'm going to interview them. Yeah, yeah I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. I, I want them. What kind of questions would you ask in addition? I don't know. How, I want to know how many women. What was the most women you had on the bus at one time? I'm not asking them that. Okay. This is a feel good okay, show. So. I don't do gotcha questions. That's like, not I don't gotcha. Go. It is a gotcha. They're all married. I'm talking about in the '80s. They don't want to talk about that. It's just like, uh, uh, so we're on a talk show and Kelly Clarkson goes, so how many men have you slept with? You probably would like that question. I'm like, not answering that. Kelly, we ain't got enough time on your show. <laughs> 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 you got to come back on her. Ooh, ooh. I oh. wouldn't want nobody so, asking me thank that. Thank you, Chris. So, so, so Sherry, we're going to play a game. How many men have you slept with? I'd be like, they're not going to. First of all, I've never been good in math. You gotta be <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Live from New York, it's Kim Whitley and Sherry Shepard. We're actually in her dressing room on the set of the Sherry Show. On the set of Sherry Show. Do you know how much stuff I've already stolen? <laughs> <laughs> Sherry been talking. I've been taking mugs. Oh my god! All that kind of stuff. People send her stuff. I've been putting it right in my bag. He's crazy. Oh, I did bring you something before I forget. What did you bring? Tomorrow is well, Valentine. not today, not tomorrow, because this might come out on Thursday. Too. Oh, okay. But we all know. What's well, live? This is, this is live. <laughs> Please remember oh, that. I keep telling her that. I so said, it's I out said, now. I was looking out for your producer, Steels, okay? Uh, mine? You look so pretty. For my friend. I okay. Wasn't, I wasn't... You gave this to everybody here on the yeah. set. That, why does that say Southwest Airlines on it? What you going to say? Well, I, I love I, it, but I brought, this is the thing. First, I was gonna bring you a whole thing, a big one of candy kisses, but I know you have. I'm diabetic. Issue. Yes, so I only brought you. Why a, would you get me these? So it would just make you sleepy a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. Here's the thing. I, if I didn't see Kim hand this to like seven other people, I was. And, and this is the way Kim did the same way she did me. Like I got you a little something for Valentine's Day. I watched Kim say that to everybody. She was like Edie, my sister. And she goes in her bag, just like she just did. She pulls it out. She's like, I got you something for Valentine's Day. That is a tiny little, it don't, this is not big. So she, and Edie goes, Edie looks at it. Now mind you, my assistant is walking Please around and Louis Vuitton, Shut up. Christian Louboutin, she got some kind of new coat. Edie making more money than me. And True. Edie looks at it and she's like, oh, thank you. All dramatic. And then John Murray, our best friend and executive oh producer, because I grabbed him before Kim, recognized his worth before Kim did. She did. So I grabbed him. So John was in here and Kim goes, John, hold on. I got your Valentine's Day present. She disappears from the frame and she goes, here you go. Happy Valentine's. Now I'm sitting here looking at her because I'm waiting for Chris to start the podcast. And John goes, oh, wow, thank you. And John, now nobody is taking it. All the Valentines is here. And John goes, I'm going to put it on the chair in Sherry's office. Now he got his own office. So when Kim, so Kim's doing this to everybody. She got one bag here with about a hundred of these. So then, so when she says to me, Sherry, I miss you so much. Because we're best friends. I got you a little something, something. Disappears from frame, bends down. I got you a little something for Valentine's Day. I'm looking at her going, oh, yeah. Yeah. number one, you didn't take the time because you know I'm diabetic. I, so you know I can't like, eat this. I know you got an issue. You like so, a little chocolate. So you know Sherry. I'm addicted to chocolate. Yes. And you know it's bad for me. Mm -hmm. So instead of being my my friend, and I you know you learned this in WW, to encourage your friends not to do bad things. You, right. you like, I know Sherry's addicted, so and this is cheap, so I'm gonna give it yeah, to her. Right. So, so she's bitter it for you. No, no, no I'm gonna no, take it. No, you gonna I'm take happy. It. See how I go? You see me try to snatch it away. Y'all saw that, right? <laughs> she had on the Kung Fu girl. She was like, no, I got it. Because I'm a cute. You but gave I, it to me. Look, I got here you go. Hey, here, we were talking about this pre show, Sherry. Falling in line with the comments, C. Patterson 22 says, Look at Sherry being ungrateful. <laughs> oh, no, you ain't even, I ain't even got started yet. I don't even start. Y'all want to see, y'all want to see. see. I don't see call it. it, I don't call it being ungrateful. I call it holding Kim accountable. 
That's what I call it. Look Holding him accountable. Y'all, I had to walk three blocks to go okay. get that over at the drugstore, and I was walking. No, what Kim did was she knew she knew that um, I got something amazing for her. I got Crocs on and no socks. And she was like, "Damn it, I didn't forget she had Valentine's Day, and I know she got something amazing for me because she always do." So let me go. Oh, they go Dwayne Reese, and she went to Dwayne Reese. She was like, "Oh, they go buy. Do y'all have like a hundred of these? Because I, I want to buy how much out of it." And then Kim's so frugal. She won't pay full price. She would like, I didn't bought a hundred of these. Was, I know it's a bad one. Get one free. It was three for five. Three for <laughs> three for five. And I'm ungrateful. But I thought about you. I got you something else. Ah! That's Kim's well, Oscar. That's Kim's you. Oscar award for the uh, performance. And everybody who said bossy, I know y'all new listeners. And look at this. It ain't even wrapped up. What is this in a Ralph's bag? What is it about? What's something for your dressing room? <laughs> I am so thankful. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is Jeffrey and Joshua. Now that That's great. is amazing. That is Jeffrey and Joshua. It was little. It literally was like 11 years ago. <laughs> Jeffrey and Joshua. But they, when like Joshua was a baby and Jeffrey was a few years older, maybe about five years older. That's amazing. Now this I love. This took, uh, although I kind of think this is a stock photo. This probably was a Dwayne Reed with the picture just in some <laughs> Kim, because let me tell you, and the reason why I say that, Kim invents things. Kim oh, yeah. has so many inventions mm -hmm. out. And I wouldn't be surprised if Kim sold this stock photo <laughs> to Ralph's and Dwayne Reed. You know, oh, when you go God. get pictures and they already have something in the frame Definitely. and you see pictures, two little black yeah, boys. I think true. Kim sold this to Dwayne Reed. I did. And it came in the frame. That would be a lot of money, too. That would be a lot of money. I got money. this for Jeffrey. Oh, Mr. Rapping. Why you don't never rap nothing? My this aunt used to do that. She'd be in newspaper and bags. I was like, that's pretty good. That's how I said. Kim is like, this is an auntie gift right here. Is this is an auntie gift. Is auntie. This is the auntie that gives you the gift and she give you $10. I thought about giving you $10. And I was like, ah, maybe not. Hold oh, so on one second. This for Jeffrey. I'm so excited. It's, oh, it's, it's double wrapped. <laughs> I, I didn't want it to break. In the you don't want it to break. So you didn't put no pants on it. I love it. Oh, now see, this is a gift that this is Jeffrey, and that's uh, Byron Allen. I mean, not Byron Did Allen. Did you say Byron Allen? Wait a minute. I meant Kobe Bryant. I was like, Byron Allen is playing basketball. It's one of those pictures. He went to the. He, First of all, Jeffrey loves basketball. He loves basketball. He loves now, see, basketball. this is a gift that, that makes up for this one for me. This right here, this took thought. <laughs> Jeffrey was in front of, like, uh, and that's the WWE guy. That looked like, uh, yeah. who's that white guy that's in all the it's movies? John Cena. It looks like John and Cena, it looks like, yeah. It looks like, he's, it looks like Chris Bosch for some reason. But it, does look, cause it don't look like Byron Allen. That ain't Byron. Oh, that's because it's not Byron. That's how tired I am. It don't look like Kobe Bryant. It's not but this is, a, it's this Chris is Bosch. a I love this. It's Tris Bosch. Y'all want to see? This is like, she took time to do this. This one just was on a, a Target like this. But this one took time. That's, these are amazing gifts. Do you, mind if I, do you mind if I give wrap it? I got some Christmas wrap. Right there, I'm gonna wrap it up in a Christmas paper. You give it to Jeffrey. Jeffrey ain't even gonna bag. know. He ain't even Jeffrey. Not gonna know. He just Jeffrey gonna be like, "What is this? This is amazing." That's for his room. I we'll love it. Let's move it out the way. And we're gonna put it on. We're gonna put it on the wall. And one is for your your uh, one of these shelves you gotta be. Yeah, I'm gonna put. It, I'm gonna put it up on. Oh, the I need my bag. Uh, I, I just oh. put them in the garbage. The plastic bags. You don't use plastic bags for a lot of stuff. Yes, but not in the dressing room because it's too much it's stuff in here. It is. It is a lot of stuff. It's like a lot of stuff. So what's that for? You got a TV in there? Oh, yeah, right there, a, right there. I got a TV. Yo, we on the set of the Sherry Show. It's I got it's a TV fantastic. in every room. Oh, we got some fun. So wait a minute. So what? I gave you a gift, right? You got more? No, I got some water in here. I wanted to. Right. No, I have the pinto water. You there's one for you. Yes, you sent me some water. Did you watch the Super Bowl? I did not watch the Super Bowl. What? Hey, let me say, in my defense, I was at Hannah's play oh. in Cleveland. So I listened to the last five minutes. So, so tell me what I missed. Riri is pregnant. That, But someone said it. Or they was like she was rubbing her stomach. So don't you think that was already a known fact? No, nobody knew she was pregnant. But she was we knew when, yeah, I think when women, when she came out, women knew she was pregnant. Men, oh, I we've trained them not to say, you know, a woman is pregnant or not to so ask. So they were like, oh, she's getting weight. Yeah, so men was like, oh, maybe she ate something. 
and was bloated. Men would not go there about she being pregnant, but women knew. We knew yeah, she was, was pregnant. pregnant I would love to know, listeners, y'all knew. And she rubbed us something. But you know what she did? I couldn't say it on daytime. What? Rihanna took her hand. She was damned. You know what? what? And she took her hand. She rubbed her, her uchke. Uh-huh. She smelled it. You're it looked like this. No, so she, did. she did. Am I, I lying, Chris? Am I lying? That definitely happened. That de- she did. You know how people be doing this, Kim? Right. So she did that down there. She did it. She looked at the camera. She smelled it. And then she did it as if to say, and well, I sure. loved it. What was that to say? Sure, do you have a, do you have no, an undershirt like on? Oh, why wow, you saw my bra? I don't know. Just do you, I'm just making sure you have an undershirt. I do not have an undershirt on. So if you well, saw. Pay attention. Because... I think I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might've been belly flap or my bra. Uh, I don't, that was not a belly. I saw it and didn't say nothing. Okay. It's damn right. Show you I almost threw myself up to block. <laughs> no, it, that was either my bra or my stomach. Was, I can, can I? Okay, we'll go back to Riri. So I get comments all the time about people. They don't like my outfit. They don't like my hair. Ooh, somebody said, ooh, 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 ooh. This is somebody said, it's so funny. They said, Sherry, you got a problem with your upper diaphragm. You need to go to the doctor. <laughs> and I said, and I said, um, that's not my upper diaphragm. It's just a fat belly. That ain't on Willie. That's up, my belly. But why do people say my upper diaphragm? Because it's because this is where it's fat right here. It's right here. It's but fat you fat. had a baby. Well, that's not. No, that was a steak. That's not Jeffrey. Did you say that was a steak and onion rings? That's not Jeffrey. I can't believe it. Jeffrey's seventeen years old. <laughs> I just had a baby. Jeffrey's seventeen. <laughs> People do it all the time. I know you do it. Yes. <laughs> and you adopted Joshua. <laughs> Look, if anybody's saying it, who is that? Riri. Oh, is that what she did it, Chris? Yeah. She put her hand down there, right there. She put her hand down there, she oh. sniffed it, and then she put it out to the camera. Like, it's, it's, it's juicy. It's, I, I, but I couldn't say it on daytime. I couldn't do it on daytime. Yeah, she did that and then said like this. Yes. What you be doing? Kim does it every Saturday. <laughs> I do. Oh, no. Reaction. <laughs> yeah, because I can't believe. This is two things Kim does. If anybody says anything about his stomach, she goes, you know I had Joshua. <laughs> Joshua was 11 years old and he adopted. But Kim will use that and commit to the story. You have to commit. You do have to commit. How was your stand-up with Michelle Bouton? I did stand-up over the weekend. Making me I haven't bad. been on stage in so many months and you know usually i do stay i would get on stage like seven to ten times a week I know. in la and my confidence was through the roof um but i was i was nervous now the one thing i wasn't nervous that i wasn't fun it, that was i knew i was funny, funny. i was nervous because i hadn't got on stage in right. front of people how many people were there oh my gosh it must have been friggin where were three, you 400 the city winery oh city that's a 400 winery. person venue it's a four oh, girl it's it, a, it is a comedy Michelle spot? Buteau sold City out. Winery. City Winery is all sorry, Sherry. Uh there's okay. one in Chicago, they're making one here in St. Louis, there's one in Nashville. Oh, the, it's a stand up place or just a show place? No, it's, so you go it to does people. music, stand up, like Heather McDonald does them. I know that, like that level. Sheila of E was there yeah. this weekend. They have they have okay. live bands. Michelle sold out. Michelle Nicole Byer. You know, Nicole oh, Byer sold Nicole. out. They had to add a second show. Um Chris and Michelle will be there. Um, all kinds of, I only remember the black artists because I was there, but it's a huge venue, great acoustics. And Michelle Buteau, she's on First First Wives Club. And she also has a Netflix special. And uh, she, got, she got nominated for an Emmy for her special. She has a show coming out on Netflix called Survival of the Thickest. And she's on a show called The Circle. It's a dating show on Netflix. So she, you know, and she got a lot of curly yeah. hair. Um, so she asked me to be her special guest. Oh, wow. That's nice. The and circle. it was so many people. And I just, mm-hmm. my confidence, like, uh, how, how much time my, did you have to do? I only, t- you know, when I'm not, ner- when I'm nervous, Seven, I asked for, yeah, I asked for 10 minutes and I did 12. Oh, of course you did. But I did really well, <laughs> but my jokes got a little messy. Because it's like riding a bike. Where's the coffee? I'm laughing coffee. at Kim. I'm no, laughing at Kim's head, of course. What'd you say, Chris? I was laughing because Kim snuck in, and of course you did, because you ran your time. And she's, Kim was being shady, and I'm hoping everybody else caught that. 
that you oh, know it's not all Sh- sherry's not the only one who uh deserves any any criticism for being mean kim's just a little slicker <laughs> no kim i can't believe you got no coffee on the set we don't we don't i'm trying to drink coffee me. it's not we got a lot you. of water where's the crew you drink their coffee across the street Oh. I don't allow coffee. Over Kim. Over. Yeah, Sherry. She Sherry sends her crew across the street. They're not allowed to drink coffee in her presence. <laughs> no, no, no. They drink coffee. Over. I just don't drink it. So I don't have it. I just have water because that's all I drink. But what about you... the other people, Sherry? This is this is dressing room. Is Sherry Shepherd's? Is so. I don't have a lot. Why are you? Oh my God! You're, you can't tell me there's not somebody there that could run across the street and grab you a coffee, Kim. No, no everybody's no gone. One's not here because this here in murder, New York, murder, murder, rape building. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's seven o'clock, and usually I'm the only hey, one left here. Yeah, she yeah, we're going to dinner, so I'm usually the only one here, and I have to turn. I turn out the lights. Oh, what sometimes about I'll Uber? Speak. Uber what? Eats. Uber Eats. Get a coffee delivered. No, we're going to take her to a steak restaurant as soon as we finish the podcast. We're going to go to. Yeah, she uh, want me to show up at work. Yeah, because I got to get up at four forty-five in the morning to work out. Oh, so we're not right. we're not gonna be out late like partying. What's those little envelopes with your name on it? These are cards that I ordered off of. Uh, I send thank you cards. Oh, nice! And I send thank you cards to the people. And like people will keep who those came forever. on my show. So they'll be like, <sighs> no, they're not gonna keep. No, them no, you keep. That's it. to Chelsea Clinton. That's a card to Chelsea Clinton. Oh, it's just a card, and then you write. So it's a on card. It. I'm just thanking Chelsea for coming on the show. But you hand wrote it. Did, I Bob, hand, I hand did Barbara Walters teach you that? Yeah, she. Yeah, actually, she did. Yeah, that felt. I like didn't it. get it from you. If I, you know what I got I, from you, I, I, I got a hundred of these on the shelf. <laughs> Pass out. Give me fans when Kim. they sit in the audience. If they look hungry, I go, oh, guess what, Auntie got you. Kim, you're going on Sherry's show. I believe you had wrote something that you were going to read. To Sherry, you, do you have a poem? It's a poem or something. It's a prayer. It's do you have a prayer. prayer? What was a prayer? I can't wait. Prayer. I I had this it's, prayer. It's in what your phone, right? Tahini. I got all of the Real Housewives who came on from New Jersey. I got Rev Rob Revy Watts. Watts. I got uh, Rev Reverend Raphael Warnock. Oh, it's, it's so many. Kristen Chenoweth. That's D. L. Hughley. D. L. came on. I got a show. car. Yeah, I got a car for D. L. Hughley. It's all of these people. Yes, I usually, I, yeah, I just write thank you cards for them coming on. <laughs> I'm so sick of her happiness. I tell her. No, it was good. That's I, what you have to do. We I have know, a talk you show. Do, but you do so much. I don't know how you do all this. I don't you know. You get up in the morning at five in the morning. Does your kid know you? No, not really. Okay. I was he looks talking. at me. He's like, why are you still here? Wow. He sent me a trailer on my text and it wasn't hi mommy. It was a t- it was a uh the trailer for Sex Lives of College Girls. Oh, so he can he does get to see you. Yeah. He's not supposed to be on watching HBO, on HBO on HBO. Jeffrey's yeah, not HBO. supposed to be watching sex anything called Sex Lives of College, <laughs> College Girls. Girls. But I'm on the show and he sent me the trailer. I don't know what he was trying to say. That he wants to see it. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Closer to the mic. This is the point. Dear Lord, first of all, I want to thank you for all the blessings that you have bestowed on my friend, Sherry. Oh. Lord, she has taken this talk show and ran with it. What a blessing to the world. But Lord, can you please slow her down? She's getting really funny because she does it every day. She thinks she's coming up on my heels with her quick wit and her jokes. (laughs) Father God, (laughs) Sherry used to think I was so funny, but now she is coming with jokes faster than I can catch up, Lord. (laughs) Last week's podcast, I could barely come back with a quick joke. Father God, I'm excited that she has a talk show, but could you please let maybe her guests not show up every day? (laughs) At least until I get a talk show where I can practice every day also, Father. It doesn't matter, it could be on Peacock, Weacock. (laughs) Lord, I just need to practice. Sherry never had a smart mouth and then this time. 
I want to thank you, Father God, for all your blessings. And when I go on her show next time, Father God, please let me be funny and get ratings. Not to the point where I have to set myself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh thank you for my friend and the sherry show amen oh my gosh that was beautiful and horrifying won't he do it won't he do it <laughs> won't he will chris how do you know that chris <laughs> i do a show with b flat every tuesday night oh, you <laughs> oh my god tighten up tuesdays on tuesdays <sighs> Oh my gosh. Well, that was quite lovely and awful at the same time. But you've been thank you. really good. Have you noticed how funny you've got? I no. mean, you've always been funny, but you now you be coming in there like this. Before this, I used to come in with a joke, Chris. Ain't it true? Mm -hmm. We'd be talking about stuff. The joke, she'll go, da 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 da. It's going to be even worse now that you're in person, Kim, because there's a delay. People don't realize that you two don't wear headphones and you don't no. hear things quick enough. I'm serious. And it looks like, and I'm telling you, in person, Kim, you're going to feel even worse. <laughs> she's going to seem like she's on steroids because, oh my God, because you hear it quicker and she can hit you quicker because there's no delay. That's funny. Oh, that's when I, I tell you. you. No, I tell no. you. It's like, if you, it's like boxing or something. If you haven't been to practice in a couple of weeks and you're your person you were equal with, you go back and you feel like you have weights on your hands because... It's not the same, and they've been putting the work in. <laughs> you see the difference, Chris. You see the difference? Oh, she's quick. She's quick. Remember, we used to joke because Kim, you would giggle at like some of the dumb, like slower stuff I would say. Like, oh, yeah. I get why that's funny. Sherry, Kim just look into the, the camera, huh? Kim now, is the improv queen. But now that Sherry, she will hit you with a Ooh. quick joke. Mm. Mm. But no, I'm but let me tell you something. Again, talk shows because you're going to get your own. Everybody's is in their lane. So you have Kelly Clarkson who can sing and she's America's favorite, you know, next door girl. Uh -huh. You have Dr. Phil. He's very expert yep. driven oriented, yep. very, you know, then you have Dr. Oz is gone because he was health. health yep. You have Tamron Medical. Hall, who's a journalist. journalist yep. So she digs to the core. She makes people cry. You have Karamo Brown, who is resolution. You have Jennifer Hudson. She's a gospel singer. singer. She gets on the show and she's, she sings and very um, down home, down girl. home. And she's like, she's just it. Now I'm interested in people too. And she's very interested in people, but Kim, uh, you know, everybody loves singing with Jennifer Hudson. So what's my thing? I gotta be funny. Like okay. that's, I gotta be funny. So when you come on my show, you already know you're going to have a good time and you're going to laugh, which means if I'm going to make you laugh, I got to do it quick because well, you're going to turn the TV. All right. What if you ever had a guest that was like this? Hey, Sherry. I have. And then what do you do? I got to do it. My Work up. through it. Da, da, Kim, da, da, da. Kim <laughs> let that, hey, act it out. Kim, be the most difficult guest Sherry's had to date. <laughs> show it off, oh, Sherry. Show it off. Loves people to act it out. So hey, <laughs> I love having you on my show because you remember, I don't know if you remember last time when you came on the show, and I've always been a fan of who you are, and that's what I said. So anyway, like you were saying, you tell me thank you for letting me be on the show. Another thing I want to thank you for is when you were in the movie and you played the clown. What was I like? Well, you know. <laughs> you wanted to be a clown. I can't even believe she wanted to be a clown. And that's when I said, and speaking of clowns, you did a play on Broadway where you leveled it out. And I was like, oh, she clowning. How was that? Tell us about that. You know. Um, I know. And so when I was saying, you know, you did something for your mother that everybody needs to know about. I don't let them talk. Hell no. Hell no. That's you know, it. If a person got a true. remote control, they're going to be like that. My energy is off the charts. <laughs> and then somebody, somebody, as soon as that commercial break come on, I'm like, who produced this? How do we get this person on the show? Cause because they, I'm, I'm related to uh, somebody. <laughs> I'm related to Jay-Z. When I tell and you, Jay -Z. and if Jay-Z say he want his cousin on, guess what? 
Jay-Z his slow talking cousin gonna be on this show because I want Jay Z right, to talk to his back, wife right. and I want him right. and his wife to come, come on, on and show. he can talk to his sister in law, Solange. <laughs> you favorites for people. That is true. Sherry, yeah. have you ever been interviewed? Yeah. Have you been a guest on something and you get that vibe where they're not so great at their job right away? You flip it on them and you start just you you bully through it and you start asking them questions. I've done that a few times. It is rough. You know, no, you know, the thing that Kim and I have, why people love having Kim and I on as a uh, guest, because we are quick. The, the best person to have as a guest is a comic. Yes. Because we can take over. The best, my one of my best guests, Steve Harvey. Oh, because yeah. let me tell you something. Just let him go. I just let Steve go. That's Steve, what Ellen like. Ellen like people. Who could just go because then she didn't work. have to work you could always see when ellen was sitting there leaning back having to keep it going ellen loved comics yeah. because we can take it and i was and that's what i was always telling people when i was pitching this talk show you underestimate stand-up comics because we can create magic where there is none yeah. and and like when steve harvey came on i had nine questions i was supposed to ask steve I think I asked him three because he just completely took over Sorry, and I loved it. He he started talking about the couch, my coffee, because sure, you just, you rich, not sure. And Shut it up. was like hysterical. So good. So good. Mark so, Curry crushed it too. Mark the- Curry. You just let Mark, Mark Curry came on my laugh lounge. I wish we could have got him on the couch. And I had a set of questions. Girl, he can't. Huh? Did you go to sleep? No, was you was no. This was Kim. Kim was like, uh huh. I was thinking. I was looking at your phone, and I was like, if you touch that chocolate one more time, oh, because I was trying I'm to make open, you it. open it. I was trying to open it, but you. The good thing about when you buy chocolate from Dwayne Reed, they make it so it's theft proof. Oh, so they make it so you can't steal it. The chocolates. Oh, is that so that's why it's is? hard to open up because you I bought you. you bought theft proof chocolate. Three for five dollars. No, it's open. No, because I did that with my nail. I push. Oh. I kept pushing it open. But then she put it back because she knew she'd be asleep. No, I put it back because I knew the cameras was watching. That's <laughs> how thieves acting. <laughs> uh, she's coming back later <laughs> after dinner. I'm gonna tear this chocolate up. Got my little ab- laboratory. I'm gonna be dinging all night. Cause my blood sugar. Oh, that is funny. Is and my funny? trainer is gonna know that I had chocolate because oh. it shows in my face. My double chin start it oh. hangs more. I'll take no, it. you I'll bought it for me. I love it. <laughs> Kim says I'll t- let me I'll let I me said. throw that away for you outside of your view when you're not looking. Yeah, you bought it for me and I love it. And I said what I said. Why not Thank buy you. me some? Now I'm feeling probably because you don't want Kim. To Kim, you're on camera. You're Kim. Yeah, you're I know on. you're stretching your breast. <laughs> She'll yeah, be scratching Wait, that's not cheap, John. This is Russell Stover or somebody. <laughs> Russell, Stover. Russell, Russell Stover. Stover or somebody like he's your neighbor. Like <laughs> it's supposed to be a great brand of Russell. Chocolate. Yeah, it's the Russell lookalike. Elmer. Chocolate. Oh, this damn. chocolate is straight from Tijuana. Girl, this ain't even. The, oh, I thought this was the people. This is Tijuana that's from, chocolate. That's from Aldi. That's Bill's chocolate. <laughs> Uh, uh, we have no life. We're doing our podcast. Can you believe? No, it's okay. No, it's okay. We're <laughs> what are you still doing here? Yes, he's oh, for the performance. And he's doing a great job. I went out and checked oh, it. So, it where do you get coffee when you sleep? There's no coffee. coffee. I am asking no, him. Right? Oh, so no, we don't, don't have, have coffee leave? on this. It's too oh, late. You don't it's have only the three on of us here. Yeah, but yeah. we don't have. We didn't make the coffee. He is a Keurig. I don't know how so is it in your office? Like, no, we. Here. It's late. It no, nope, there's no. I told you it was on the set. I said there was no way grips and transporting all these people. They're not gonna have coffee somewhere. They do at nine in the morning. It's not at seven day. o'clock at night, Kim. Nobody's here. I can make the coffee. It's us three, three and coffee. Freddy Krueger. That's well, you it. Two are like, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm See you later. Oh, you watched my oh, movie? You, oh, you did? You yeah, saw Kevin next I Friday? Seen, I was so Aww. young. You still look great. And supple. Thank she you. She said, he said, you still look great. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Be careful going home. Yeah, we got another 10 minutes. We got okay. another 10 minutes. I like that accent. Got another 10 minutes. It's a New York accent. When I tell you that our grips, and um, he actually opens the door when I come out, oh. and he gets my um, he gets the cameras in position. 
when I come out. He's so sweet. He's so nice. I mean, he was like, hey, Kim. I was like, oh, they know me here. I'm going to take him out to dinner because yeah. he's been married 37 years to his high school sweetheart. And right. she passed away over COVID. And Wait, so he's always here. Like, well, during the pandemic. She passed from COVID. She passed. Mm -hmm. And so he's so oh, sweet. I'm going to make him a casserole. Now, why don't you give him one of these? You got 82 of them in your bag. Just give him one. He'll be happy because he'll like it because that's thoughtful. That's you should. And especially because he saw you next Friday and you're scratching your titties. Uh, I'm going back mm. to Dwayne tonight to make sure he got something. I'm going to give him a bigger one. And yeah, this is going to be a name brand. Yeah, get him. You know what I was trying to find y'all? Well, you did something with your hair. I was trying to I was trying to find y'all little bears to go with it. Oh gosh, you was gonna get one of them bears. Oh my gosh. Made hey, out of possum hair. Ask oh Chris, ask the people What are the comments? What are, yeah, what are y'all doing for Valentine's Day? And then put them in the comments. Uh yeah, Why? we'll get those in just a second. So tell us what you're doing for Valentine's Day if you're in the live chat. Uh Lakeisha likes the casserole idea better. Uh, A Brown says, Kim, just don't be caring. I agree. Sherry <laughs> won't let go of the chocolate, says CT. Fab 540 is laughing about the casserole. D Perez thinks he deserves Godiva. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll get to it. Oh, Denise says, Denise R says, loving my husband on Valentine's Day. Oh, that's sweet. That's what sweet. are you doing on Valentine's Day, Kim? I know it's Valentine's tomorrow. We have a FaceTime date. Um, you do. Yeah, you can right. use the office Wi-Fi here. Yeah, it'll be it'll be Kim Whitley is not available. Uh, <laughs> Irina says single. I'll be working. I'll be on the plane going to get my. Does son. it? Okay, here's my some son. more questions or answers. Child care is an issue. I'll be celebrating on the weekend. That's from a lovely. Kim. Yeah. Yeah. I celebrated this weekend. Because it's, it's hard to do it. I, Ooh, I like went out show. on a Valentine's date. And it was cool. We went to see. I went on a Valentine's date when? this weekend. We went to uh, Saturday. We went to see Gregory Porter. That was your and sneaky little your sneaky on. little Instagram post. Holding strong, even though I tried to make it. Heaven knows that I can't fake it. Holding on, like what are you doing? And it's oh, very strong. What is it doing? That's a good lip brush. Oh my Tape. gosh. Yes, we went to see Gregory Porter and then we went to a birthday party. Oh. Somebody's birthday party. Oh, and it was great. Anybody famous? Hmm? Anybody famous party? Um, no, no, he was a makeup artist. He was Whoopi Goldberg's uh, oh, makeup nice. artist. Yes. And we went to his birthday party. And then I went home and went to sleep. What uh here's should? some more Valentine's events from your lovely listeners thanks for tuning in everybody uh before Ooh. we before we forget by the way it's not up yet we had to take care of some business um but i think we should just go ahead and put it out there because plenty of people have asked me kim do you know where you will be on march 10th in my skin she's gonna be in st louis with Live friends. <laughs> at the grandel it's gonna be kim whitley and friends first of all you better have those tickets up and ready to go because we're going to announce it tomorrow. It's going to be announced well, Wednesday on the show, Chris. That's that I can do. We just we are hammering out some uh, work that should have been done a while ago, but we're getting it done. Kim, do you want to yes, say so who your friends are? Or you want to just say Kim Whitley and friends, and we'll announce that later. Kim Whitley and friends. Kim Whitley and friends. We're going to announce it uh, th that they can buy tickets. One is going to be B flat. I think that's a confirmed one. Did you want to say that? Okay. Well, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know, Chris. I don't don't know. be doing. Chris, no, I don't go. think you should. No surprise. Oh, no. Yes. It's some St. Louis comics, and um, I don't think you should do surprise guests. I think you don't. No, no, no. I meant, should we wait until it's up? <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. Take back. I said, if you are in St. Louis, uh, Kim will be there. Kim and friends, March tenth and eleventh. Um. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Hold up. Huh? Uh-oh. All right, no. let's read some comments. We'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, HR oh, says, when will we know when you all won the NAACP Image Award? Uh, that'll be on the 24th or 25th of February. We'll be at the NAACP Image Awards. I'm flying to L.A. So I will be there with Kim Whitley. Yep. Yep. Uh, and so we will find yeah. out Friday on at the on the 24th of um 
February. We will find out if we won. And you know, here's the darn, here's the thing. And we're both going because our uh, award nomination is not televised. Right. So you guys won't see it. You could, you'll be able to look at it on YouTube. Uh, like maybe a week after, but we're also going to attend the live one. That's where we got this, you know, the star oh, of yeah. the movies and the TV shows. That's where you see Quinta Brunson. Uh, hopefully I'm sitting with you because if not, it makes no sense. No, we're not sitting together on the live. They couldn't fix that? Yeah, and I didn't even want to go because I'm like, if I'm not nominated, I don't want to go to the live. That's a whole nother makeup and hair I got to pay so for. So why because John says it's a good networking opportunity. We need to go. We need to have guests on the podcast. But I'm not sitting next to you. No, we're not. But we're, we probably are sitting together Friday when we, we they well, announce our award, but not for the live. Yes. I, for the live, and we're not even nominated. We're probably gonna be all the way in the back. They probably not even gonna have a camera on me and Kim because they gonna all the big celebrities are gonna be there. Jennifer Hudson gonna be there. Kevin celebrity. Hart gonna be. No, I'm not a big celebrity, Kim. You I'm a talk show. Talk show. No, that doesn't make it. That is huge with your name on it. It says like here. I said, we're gonna be all the way back there. You have your They're own gonna cards. have Jennifer Hudson. They're gonna have Kevin Hart. They're gonna have Quinta uh, Brunson. They're gonna have uh, friggin' um, is it Viola, the, uh, Octavia, the, all of these people. Cheryl Lee Ralph gonna be up there going, "This is what a dream." Looks like this is what living looks like. Don't ever lose your dream. I love it when Shirley Ralph does that. That's my favorite part of the Emmy speech. She sang like she was doing an Emmy speech. Did she? I didn't get to see it. She was like, lift every voice and sing. Jesus and heaven ring. Don't listen to y'all. Oh my God! Okay, first of all, because she sang it for real. She sang amazing. Yeah. We yeah. both know Shirley Ralph, and we are so I happy. When I sing, that's your sorority sister. Yeah, she got that very deep voice. Yeah. Lift every sound of love like. <laughs> Because I love Shirley Ralph. I do. So, you know why? Because let me tell y'all something. She's living her Shirley best life. Shirley Ralph, but Shirley Ralph, so y'all know. We love Shirley her. Ralph will call me. It doesn't matter. See, y'all don't know Shirley. Y'all think she's just a putting it on. This is how this Shirley is. How she, how talks. she communicates. This is how she does. Yes. Kim, darling. <laughs> Kim, no, no, darling is Vivica. But she'll say, Kim, we've got to get these sorority sisters together. That's what she'll, when she'll I tell you, it. I went to Jamaica and she said something else. She was like, Sherry, yes, I have it all set up. You're staying at the resort hotel, and I told them to take care of you. That's, That's Shirley, that Ralph. Shirley Ralph. So, so when she's saying, she's saying, like, we're so like, di everybody's happy for Shirley yes, Ralph because she's been in is. she's been in for so long. But those who know Shirley Ralph, we're so excited to see her living her best life getting the recognition finally. and the acknowledgement that she deserves like finally she was an original dream girl she was the original dream you know another girl. one who needs that who i want to happen and vanessa bell calloway oh who wow are you gonna say? i was gonna say vanessa but Van I, was I i literally her her daughter just got engaged she got engaged yeah, to be married now, you know vanessa that's my girl but uh, she's you know aka she's she okay. aka Yes. You doubt. I'll be trying to remember yeah, all the she stories. Okay, but she's still my girl. She's still your but girl. you know who else? Who? I was going to say two people. Who? Vanessa Bell Calloway and Jennifer Lewis. But no, but here's the thing, though. Jennifer, Jennifer gotten Lewis her. has gotten hers and she what still she gets. Blackish! Oh, she got a TV show. Yeah, that's a big one. But she hasn't gotten recognized. But people, you know, people recognize Jennifer Lewis. She's on every meme. Everybody's mouthing her thing. And she's got that big, whatever happened to Jackie somebody right, Jennifer, like she like Jackie's jennifer lewis back. is an icon but she hadn't gotten an award or anything yeah but you know like jennifer lewis is famous but like, you, you know, know jennifer ain't at home in her bed Tell them, they don't see me well you know jennifer lewis like, <laughs> where's no, jennifer she's like, where's right jennifer from? from where's jennifer from st louis mm, where are you gonna I be march 10th <laughs> st louis that's it that was good chris st louis i think jennifer lewis literally is living her best life she, she her book She's was a bestseller happy. like both jennifer lewis books. is both of her books she got her five thousand dollars back from that man who conned her out of money she like jennifer lewis is famous 
Like uh, so Shirley saying, Ralph was okay. was famous. She had a niche. Like black people okay. knew who Vanessa Shirley Bell Ralph Calloway. was. You're saying needs to be Vanessa Bell Calloway is the next one that yes. needs to be acknowledged and get her flowers because she been out here a long I'm time about to grinding. Call her and tell her right now. Yes, Vanessa Bell Calloway. Yes. I'm so to, tell her. to see Shirley Ralph singing at the national anthem they put a song in there for shirley ralph they did because they don't we don't they don't ever do the black don't national anthem no black national i don't anthem. think i've ever heard the black national anthem but they was like we've got to have shirley ralph somehow it's like shirley ralph and the reason why i say like with jennifer lewis shirley ralph got the it was the perfect storm abbott elementary is a huge show and she gets a lot of attention yes. for that role it's, it's the same as jennifer uh lewis got for Blackish, you say? Got for blackish. And so I think that now Shirley Ralph is like living the dream. She gonna be in movies now. Like people oh. are now Jennifer Jennifer Lewis is in movies. You call Jennifer Lewis, but now you're gonna see Shirley Ralph. I bet you she's getting scripts of the yin yang and that. offers to now be in movies because she won that Emmy. And it's so wonderful. So I tease her about the way like her song sounded like an Emmy. Uh, but we're just so happy for her. And another thing I said, this is another joke I came up with. Oh, I watch Babyface sing America, uh, America. Thought about you What's when he came on. I thought about he you sounded he like on. he was making love to America. I said, why Babyface sound like he America is sexy? Like you want to make love, songs. and that's what it sounds like. When will America I mean, be great again? Like when will I see you again? It is called America but, the Beautiful. America the Beautiful. America, the, no, that ain't it. For spacious, spacious skies, for, but you gotta listen to the way na, na, na. Baby, baby face sound like he wanted to have sex. Na, 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 yes, na, na, na. with America. Na, 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 na. You know who was amazing, na, 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 na. and I'm trying to get him on the show. Who? Chris Stapleton. You're trying to get oh, him on your show? Yes. Wait, wait, Chris Stapleton, a white boy. Yes. I like Chris Davis. He's amazing. Yeah, Chris Davis. He did America the Beautiful, and he's got this grittiness. And he did it at the Super Bowl, too? Yes. But this is what I love about Chris Staples. Let me text him. He's saying the like, national anthem. Like this. Yes. Yes. And, and Chris Stapleton was so good. Like, the grittiness of his voice took you through when you were stuck in a pandemic, when you were going through stuff, how you rose above it, you came back from it. I cried. I know that coach for the Philadelphia Eagles was crying. Did you see how much he was crying, Chris? Yeah, Ooh. it was a big moment. It was a big moment. Like he was crying when Chris Stapleton was singing. And then they had the, wow. the fighter jets come over. Like how did they time that so perfectly? It's they called, came it's over. It's called the Army, the Military, the United the States. The Aviators. Yeah, you, there was all Do you realize too. that was the first uh, all women's uh, flight? Yes. Like that? My wow. niece is in the Air Force learning to be an aviator. You know, you got to be really smart. My father and Air his Force. twin brother. They flew. That's right. They were they were They're freaking the aviators. Force. They were right. in the Air Force together. What happened to you? Hey, Chris. The, nothing happened to me. I'm an artist. <laughs> She's By the way. Yeah. Hey, Chris. Uh, no, I just say this. Uh, Sherry, yeah. Could you come on the Sherry Shepard show? Who are you talking to? Chris you got Chris Stapleton's phone number? Oh, my gosh. Are you no, talking that was about just, it? That's just some white dude she saw at a barbecue place. That's that your that ain't, that's, 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 yeah. your it's gonna be, I'm going to, oh, text message from Kim Whitley. Weird. I thought she was calling Chris Stapleton. I, I was like, him. if you got Chris Stapleton's phone number. Let me tell please. you something. He's from Lexington. He's from Kentucky. Do you, are you aware? You probably don't know this. There are an absurd. Tennessee whiskey. What? There's an absurd amount of uh, country singers from Kentucky. Like big, yeah. big singers. Yeah. It's crazy. But I want to who was that? Somebody's he should it's definitely come on your show. You know his story? You know, he was a writer for a long time, right? You know, he didn't. He, writer, he wrote. He wrote. He wrote, a writer. <laughs> he wrote oh, other people's writer. songs in Nashville for a long time. Oh, and then he was Dolly finally Parton. just like, hmm? Yeah, Dolly Parton was a yeah, big writer. She wrote, I Will Always Love You. And Jolene in the same day. And Jolene and wow, in the same day, huh? she got rich off a lot. Will always love you. Like she didn't have to work another day. What time is our dinner reservation? Seven thirty. Okay, it's seven twenty-nine. <laughs> Welcome to the Two Funny Mamas Steak Dinner Experience. Oh gosh, we gotta go. Eat. No, but Chris Stapleton, I want to bring on the show, and I, and I would love I'll him. I'll see what he can do. Well, please call him. I'll call. Him. John says they're not gonna let him sing Tennessee whiskey. Why not? The, no, here's another thing. Something new. 
got to sing something new. The label's not going to pay for you to sing something oh, that was already little, platinum. Okay. Yeah, you got to sing something new. So uh, I'm trying to get Chris Stapleton. Uh, and then Riri is pregnant. Um, and uh, yeah, and that was the Super Bowl. Wow. Oh, yeah, and the Kansas City what, Chiefs did, won. But why didn't somebody tell me that um, Missy Elliott was supposed to be on the Super Bowl? I Who can't told remember you that? Missy Elliott. <laughs> no, she was on it with Katy Perry. Who told you that? Missy Elliott? Yeah. Did you, now, did you see, have we talked since the Grammys were on? Did you see Missy Elliott in the hip hop best of 50 years? No, she I, was, I went to bed. I didn't see yeah, it. Oh, it was really I, cool. First of all, Missy Elliott is a size two. I heard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was picture. wild. She that was so dang on skinny. Like, so Yeah, skinny. I'm going to be like, she's going to take my organs out, though. <laughs> 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 she had to remove everything. That's improv, folks. You know, this, I did not, that took me, that threw me for a you know, this is what's amazing that you do this. We go eat, then you go home, go to sleep, get up at five in the morning, work out before something, get to the gym, and then you have to be on and then you take all these shows. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah, I take two shows tomorrow. Let me explain something to you. Mm -hmm. It's obviously a muscle and you've gotten used to this crazy schedule. No, I'm sleeping now. I, oh, like, I really want to go to bed. Like, now, I'm not, I don't think we should go to dinner. We both got to work tomorrow. Well, but you're hungry. No, but I don't have to. I don't have to. Go. Yeah. We probably don't need to go to because we, we, we spent this time together. Did you see? Like, uh... yeah. I was a troll. I was mad because I didn't spend more time with you. And you didn't say like, oh, Kim, why don't you stay an extra day and come stay in my house or stay in your hotel and let's hang out. None of that came up. So I was like, I was feeling some kind of way. I was working all day. As soon as I taped the show, then I had to pre-tape a show with Chrissy Metz from This Is Us. Then I got done with Chrissy Metz. And I had to answer a bunch of emails. Then we had to go see Creed 3 because Jonathan Majors, Tessa Thompson, and Michael B. Jordan are coming on the show. Then in the middle of that, coming back, getting ready to go home, somebody calls and goes, I've been sitting here all day. You can hear a damn mouth on the answer machine calling my sister. I've been sitting here all day. And I go, all day? I thought you were not coming in until tonight. Yeah. I don't let them hear that on here. You can't do that. Uh, did you all? You said you didn't watch oh. the game. No, no, because she was on a plane. Well, check the, check but, this out. Oh, I'm sorry, Sherry. Go ahead. No, no, I was just gonna say. Oh, so I you know. didn't call anybody and say. So we spent time. You're saying this is quality time on our podcast. Yes, yeah, I just quality sure time. We're, we're clear. Don't you call me when I get back to LA. Tell about why we didn't do nothing. Why you ain't come over? I don't want to hear. I it. thought you were staying extra night. I cleared out the guest room for you. I was. You didn't say. I asked you, should I stay? I sent you a text and, and said, I should I stay? To tell you, yeah. Night? I said, you are. Kim, I, I answered the text. I said, you are always welcome. I know, but you didn't. You can't raise your voice on the podcast like that. Ugh. And this Two is things. I can't even say if nothing. We ain't doing nothing. I say you can stay at the roundstone. I know. And then what we gonna do? I don't know. I gotta work. Pillow fight. I feel like I feel Pillow. like I feel like one of the boyfriends. <laughs> That's exactly what you sound like. <laughs> Crazy You're needy boyfriend. Busy. All right, I, don't, I don't bother you when you work in on her show at your age, which is coming out March twenty fourth on yep. BBT Plus. And you won't bother her. You won't bother her March tenth when she's in St. Louis at the Grand El Theater. Oh, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna jump up and run. I'm not just coming on BET Plus. I'm sorry. Bounce. It's a B. It's bounce. Oh First of all, I wrote this down. Where is Bounce Where TV is on my phone? On my I cable, I think it's fairly it's easy to find on a smart TV. No, I ain't found it because Miss Pat's show comes, comes on Bounce. No, it doesn't. Miss Pat's on BET Plus. Oh, may oh, okay. I can't find BET Plus. Maybe I got Bounce. Okay, I'll take All it. All right, two things. Two things. Kiki Shepherd is in the chat. Kiki, hey Kiki. Kiki. Shout out to Kiki. Um, we, talk, Kiki talk Shepherd to came on. Uh, we part of Black History Month. To sh we shouted out, give her flowers for being, you know, the woman on Showtime at the hey, Apollo. Paula. Tom Joyner is following oh. Kiki. Tom Joyner will be, he was actually supposed to be here today and he was going to take us out, his booze. Whatever. But it, it was a conflict. He's going to see Anita Baker. They're hanging out. So he. I was going to send Anita. Oh, shoot. He, I forgot. He did. So where them. is Anita? And, uh... they, he was going to DC. Uh, oh, Anita's on the road. I was going to send her something Baker. tomorrow. Okay. All right, do you want to see something else from last night? You going to send her one of these? You going to send Anita Baker? She going to lean down. She going to be like, Anita, I got you something for Valentine's Day. She going to lean down. Anita likes stuff. She going to give she Anita Baker this. Anita regular. Anita told me how to cook chicken with bacon. Aretha Franklin told me. She was here talking to me about cooking. Yeah. Uh, Aretha Franklin was Aretha not Franklin. here. She called me on the phone. Aretha Franklin's not... She, 
You know she's. They didn't dead. even look up. Call me. She called me like seven years ago. Oh, you need to say that because I was gonna say <laughs> you got to go to bed. You got to. Go if you think thinking Aretha Franklin called you, <laughs> I was like, wow. No, she called me when she was alive, okay. and she talked to me about how she makes uh, ham hocks. And greens. Oh, that's back when you could eat ham. Now it's saying, politically yeah. incorrect. Anita, Anita Baker took me grocery shopping. She went with me and she helped me. Helped what? Me Anita yeah. Baker? Yeah, you make me joy, 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 joy. When I was in the rain, you me. I'm All right. Do you want to see one of your friends? One of your friends. One of your friends and one of the funnier people that uh, could ever come on here, who's filled in as a co-host, was on a Super Bowl commercial last night. Did you see it? Yamanika. Yamanika oh, was the planter. Yamanika. Oh wait, she was the peanut. No, she wasn't the peanut. She was on a planter's commercial. Oh yeah, Yamanika. That was Yamanika, and I meant to text her. Um, there's Yamanika. Oh, wow. I meant to text her because I'll te- I was like, Legit. when is your commercial coming on, Yam? And so Yamanika was on a planter's commercial. And I was supposed to go to Yamanika's house to watch the Super Bowl, but she canceled it because Amy Schumer rented out a theater so everybody could come watch Magic Mike. So Amy <laughs> Schumer had all of these writers. Yeah, here. All of these writers, uh, like uh, writers for Trevor Noah. She had comics like Yamanika. And Yamanika was like, why don't you come? Because Amy she was having the same. But I told her I was my anxiety was kicking. Wait, in. where was this at, Sherry? I'm sorry. My, uh, it was it was in New York. My good friend uh, Mia is one of the writers for her Hulu show as well, so she was probably with her. Well, Mia might have been there because she, she definitely was. Yeah, out of theater. I didn't go with the Yamanika because my anxiety kicks up because you know I can't remember people's names. Right, and it's very Just hard. Take John with you. Well, John wasn't available to go with me, and I don't like being by myself when I go to these big parties because I can't remember. Uh, people you just names. say, hey, sweetie. No, but like hey, when you know that. <laughs> do you do the, <laughs> Sherry, do you do, do you say nice to see you or nice to meet you? No, oh, I'll nice go, to see you. I'll go, hey, girls, good to see yeah. you. I'll say, hey, queen. Hey, sis. That's good. Because you, you know, you know, them, you just don't know their name. But the well, problem is when they start talking yep. and you don't recognize them, it's they can very quickly tell that you have no idea who I am. And I'll be like, you know what? I'll be like, look. Let me explain something to you. See, it take too long. No, no, no. When they say that, I said, no, 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 no. I recognize you. I just got so much going on. You know, I got a new talk show that's just the number one talk show. <laughs> and I, do not so people, I mean, so many people. And I apologize. What's your name again? No, oh, when they come in and house. they, when they come in and they, yeah, but when it's somebody like, you know, you're supposed to know their name. That's, that's tough. That's, that's tough. A lot of people get really offended by that. Never know, and guess what? It's too bad because I've never known anyone's name from the time I was twenty. I've just have not. It's so many people. Yeah, we meet so many people. Many people. But I have facial blindness, so it's also even harder uh, because people they. And here's the thing: like with Kim and I, they meet us and we're so bubbly and they're so excited to meet us, so they remember us. But we meet so, so many, many people. people. No, these are the ones that get me. Remember, I took that picture with you at the family reunion. What? Remember, you came by my family reunion. I took that picture with you. I'd be like this. Are you kidding me? Because I, I want to say I meet a thousand. And then they'll show me the picture. I've had more people pull up and say, you, you remember that picture? Oh, my. But you make people feel like but I love so all special. of them at that moment. I just can't right. remember. Can't like remember after Five years later. But so many people come up and go. Like, I remember when I did uh, uh, something. And a black lady came up to me. She was like, girl, do you? Because this is how it always starts. You remember me? Mm. And I go, no. And she's like, oh my gosh, I was the one who saw you in that dress. And I was like, girl, you wearing that dress. You wearing that dress. And I go, that's it? Like, you got to give me more. She was like, and I said, your shoes, your shoes. So I'm sitting here like, I. So I, I've given up. I just do like this. I said, I'm so And it's hard as we get older. Kim, when you lean away, you should lean in towards the mic. And you know what I said? You know, I tell him, Chris, I you said, you know what? I'm so sorry. I don't remember you, but you can do something spectacular right now. So I'll remember you next time. That's and good. It That's good. Put and it on. Know, and it was like, damn, girl. Oh, that was a good one. I'd be like this. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. I uh, well, my anxiety kicks up because and it's also having a show that a lot of people watch. 
And so a lot of people come up to you and they'll say, my name is Kim. And uh, I, and then I, I won't remember that. And then other people come and go, can I take a picture? And, and, and I met you with Kim Whitley two years ago. And I said, and, it, and it's, it's so much uh, coming to me. I get my anxiety yeah. gets up because everybody wants you to remember. And it's hard explaining to everybody, 10 people it's not that personal. you have blindness. It's not personal, but what it makes me sound like is shallow. But if you say that, if somebody gave it to me and said, I have facial blindness, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I would use, I would use but that But I want to know what. Matter of fact, I'm using it. Well, like I got Angela Ryan. <laughs> you you going to say you have facial blindness? Yep. And I know, I'm going to say, you know what I'm sorry, I got name deafness. Like I call Quinta. I got name I... deafness and facial blindness. That's and now perfect. they're going to do all of that. It's a lot you of You got to explain it to everybody. No. Like I mixed up, I said on the podcast last week, I was like Quinta Burris. Let's just say candy. Right. And it, Chris, Chris was like, it's Quinta Brunson. But I just I work with people. I interview people like five years ago and work oh, with them for three and don't correct them when they mess up my name. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's 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 it's, it's hard. It's so hard. I told Yamanika I was not gonna go to Amy Schumer's party. And I stayed home and I watched the Super Bowl by myself. And it was fun. That was fun for you? It was good. Okay. I'm starving. Want any uh, uh, questions before you go? Yeah. Uh, Heaven Sent has Peter a, Heaven Sent has a, uh, a suggestion for this issue you're talking about. Heaven Sent says, I don't know who the hell you are to people. <laughs> That's, I like that. Nice. And oh, in that's the, not uh, nice. Oh, that's but it's fun. terrible. Somebody's like, hey, and I'm like, I don't know who the hell you are. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like, you know uh, who would say that name and say it and like get away with it? Mm -hmm. Like what actress could you think? Like Nia Long might say uh, Jennifer Lewis. Jennifer Lewis would say that. I don't know who you are. <laughs> how would how would Oprah not recognize somebody, Sherry? Oh, she, you can't get close to, enough to Oprah for her not to recognize. You gotta know her real well to get even close to her. Shoot, I'm telling you. Yeah. I get to worry about that. <laughs> Chris love people acting out stuff. I know. Why do you like people acting out stuff so freak. much? He like looking at it's stuff. It's really funny. It's very oh, funny. You all are talented and it gives you something to play off of. I know it probably seems annoying, but it's very good content. It's funny. It does. It does. It does. Hmm. Sorry, you're talented. <laughs> Sorry, you're talented. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Huh. Oh gosh! Uh, we'll Not bad for trying we'll, to make y'all greater, better, we'll, more likable. Uh, let's do a fourth lap on Rihanna being pregnant. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't tell people. Um, no, but what's I, I just, I just muddle through it. That's all you can do. And people know. get mad at me. They do. They get mad at me. It's a strange. I don't. Know. I don't have enough self confidence to get mad at somebody about that. I don't care. No, we, well, it's usually celebrities that get mad because well, they can. You, that's why whenever I meet somebody, I go, hey, I'm Sherry Shepard, because it gives them a chance to save face and go, Sherry, I know who you are when I know you didn't know who I was. But it gives you a chance to be able to do that. Um, but some people, a lot of people get mad at me. <laughs> Felicia. You know, Brad Pitt has facial blindness. It's called prosopagnosia. Mm -hmm. And he says he doesn't go out a lot because he gets anxiety because people think that he's shallow because he doesn't remember who they are. You know something about Brad Pitt? What about Brad Pitt? What state's he from? St. Louis. He's from Missouri, and Kim will be in St. Louis, Missouri, March 10th at the Grand Al Theater. Where can people get the tickets? Metro Tix, whenever uh, Kim signs off on everything. They'll be available on Wednesday. Okay, you waiting on Kim to sign off? I don't, let's not, do, Kim's going to say something that she's going to regret. Name? Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, this is what I see is immediate, like, I'm panicking already. We're going to announce these dates, and you ain't signed off on nothing, so there's no tickets to buy. The show goes in front of a million people every day. Wait. I don't know who's from St. Louis, but we do extremely well in St. Louis, the Sherry yeah. Show. It's too bad that you uh, said you can't stand the city of St. Louis so much that you bailed on the show, Sherry. Uh, I think we're all upset about that. Well, let me tell you, well, a lot of St. Louis people are going to buy the tickets to see Kim. That's true. And be fun. Kim has to signed off on the paperwork. Anybody else Anybody else coming, Kim? Maybe I'm. Oh, you know. <laughs> that's a vote oh, of confidence right, right there. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm I'm talking about, people. <laughs> Got to like cleaning the pool or fixing the roof. Andre will be there. Oh. Hey, y'all. We got to go. R.H. I, I don't know who this is, but R.H. 
What is I gotta this? get some Dwayne Reed. <laughs> you got more Valentine's? Uh, there's Dwayne. a few more comments. Uh, D Perez said Chris wants Kim's chocolate. And then RH Factor at said D Perez, Chris can't get Kim's chocolate. So there's an argument <laughs> about what I'm getting from Kim. Don't get it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't get it. Am I chocolate somewhere on my body? <laughs> Let me check. Know. I'm thinking you probably like that vanilla chocolate all the way through. I want to be chocolate chocolate. No, that's not going to happen. I yeah. feel bad. I'm going to get you some good candy. I'm going to get you some No, seeds. don't give me candy. I'm diabetic. Right. Well, candy don't give me candy. Clothes. It's not like a fruit plate. I'm going to get you some, some no vegetables. I don't, I don't. Oh, you're going to give me a crew today? Some yeah. cauliflower. Um, some cauliflower. I would like a massage. I'm, mm. My whole body hurts from working out. Well, when you going to take whole time body to do hurt. It? I probably Who's your do masseuse? Again. Do I don't have one. I need you to see your masseuse. Manly Hands doesn't have people? Manly here? Hands is in LA. Okay. I'm going to send you a massage. This weekend you want it? Well, I got to go to Chicago real quick. So, no. It has to Gina, like Gina Loves Life. Oh, who yeah. says that Gina, out loud? We got a comment. Gina Loves Life says, We love the both of you. I'm from St. Louis. I plan on being there. Kayla in the live chat says, Child, we already bought the flights. Get it together for St. Louis. Yes. Thank you. That's look at, I'm not even in it. That's between Chris and Kim. The, they, I'm, them I'm two. I'm going to be there. I, have you bought the flights? Fever. Fever for flavor says Chris that. doesn't want them to leave. Kim is about to fall asleep. Sherry just Kim loves to talk. Out of I love these people, man. Some of the things that get said. I do not want it's to It's really I'm funny. So tired. <laughs> would you I've ever say that? <laughs> would, what? You, would you ever say <laughs> Sherry just loves to talk? To like think of your favorite. If Janet Jackson had a podcast, would you ever leave a comment about. <laughs> Like Sherry Shepard in the live chat says, Janet Jackson loves to talk. Would you ever say that? You know what I think it is? is Some I think of the that things I don't, it's crazy. When people out. talk, I think people, they they have been following us for four years. How long have we been on doing this podcast? It feels like 30. A long time. And so, yes, it feels like 30 tonight. But I think when people talk to us, you're like a friend, a sister. We're like sisters or aunties in your head. So you just talk to us. But what happens with text, you don't hear tone. Right. So what people, can, you know, you have those friends who are like just straightforward. They mean what they, they just say how they feel. So some people be like, girl, why you, why you wear that? Like I, like I said to Kim, wow, thanks a lot for the Valentine's. I don't know. You I don't think... know tone. If that's texted, it sounds oh, yeah. crazy. But when a person be like, what you got on? Why you wear that? They love you. But when they, when it's typed, it sounds crazy. So when people go, Sherry, you bossy. You always be bossing Kim around. If I, I hear think there's you, some of that. I think there's also just. But then also we have new people follow. We can't even sit up. We have new people following. <laughs> don't know the dynamic between Kim and I. Because oh if you God. knew the dynamic between Kim and I, you would know that Kim is actually the mean one. I'm and not. she's very true. bossy. I'm so lucky. Chris even said true. Kim is very bossy. And I usually take the back seat because I don't want her to explode. So it's very dysfunctional and I'm pretty battered. Girl, will spit this all over you. Yeah, so I you am. You said you're battered? Kim, one time we did a pod, we did our show together. We were on stage doing stand up. Kim is so serious. That was because, one bad day. No, it happens every single time. <laughs> That's why we're going on our tour. We're gonna start, we're gonna go on our comedy tour starting in May. I'm so sleepy, I can't get my eyes open. And Kim, I have it in the contract that we are not to see each other until we until we pass each other on stage. When Kim will introduce me or I will introduce her and we will walk that out. That was one time. No, it's every time. And it I have it in the time. contract that Kim's dressing room must be on the other side <laughs> of the of the comedy club was, venue. She, you know what she talked about her anxiety. I had one bad night of anxiety. Her and everybody want to hold it against me. Yes, I'm because human. you traumatized everybody. Kim was so turned into this triple D monster that nobody would look up from their phone. It was like this. Did you say triple? What did you say? Her triple, triple D, D monster. D monster. Kim traumatized so she traumatized my glam team. They love Kim. But they were so scared. She traumatized Siobhan, her assistant. She traumatized the person who worked the boards for the light. Oh, damn. You know what? I forgot my WW meeting. 
Oh, Lord Jesus. Hey, Nigga, y'all. It's starting now. You know you're three hours ahead. You're three hours ahead because you're in New York. So what time was it supposed to start? It, that's good because it was supposed to start at... um. Y'all, y'all know when you make mistakes. Yeah, we know. And what? It, wait, I don't see it. Do it's see right it? now. It's seven fifty, so it's four fifty in California. What time are you supposed to start? I was supposed to start at uh, seven o'clock. Okay, that's ten o'clock here. It's not seven. No, no, no. At at four o'clock L.A. time. Oh yeah, you late. Yeah, you real late. Oh People are man. Yeah, you late. You find the bag on day. We have a reunion in the comments. Andrea H says, OMG, I see my high school friend in these comments. Uh, we've got people, uh, somebody told me I need to let, I need to let you two go to sleep as if, as if I have any authority over you two whatsoever. Uh, let's see, Kim, know, Kim, you seem like you can't little wait little to little take off that little wig little and throw it in the corner <laughs> from Fifi. Exactly we'll we'll okay. Kim needs to use this link for her WW meeting, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> You all, like keep it open. She need to do a WWB. I you do. all have a commercial to record too, and you haven't done that. You did. So oh, you know what? Uh, we can do it. Uh, we can do it. Uh, tomorrow, if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, your Crocs are amazing. <laughs> Put them up in I'm, the camera. Oh my God! Let me see this so I can show people. Where'd you get these? Uh, I, I got them in New York. The gold part, and you, then I put the things these? on them. I put the stuff on them. It's hard wow. to look at that. That's cute. You made them yourself? Yolanda, well, I bought the little thing trinkets and Yolanda put them on there for me. This is but cute. I bought these in New York. You I know, um, one. you and Lunell are good. Oh my gosh, so she's gonna be in um her and Lunell also are doing stand up comedy when? Detroit. Oh, Detroit. They're in Detroit. On March second. March second at, at summer at uh, the MGM casino called Chris usually jumps in any moment. Well, uh, I said, if you okay, here it is. So go There's so many things. Go going see on. Lunell and Me Kim and Whitley will be at the MGM Theater at the in MGM Detroit. Theater in oh, Detroit. Boy. It's called the uh, March second, the MGM Soundboard. So to be the MGM Soundboard, March second. Uh, please get your tickets because that's going to be a hoot. It will be Lunell and Kim Whitley at the Soundboard at the MGM in Detroit. It's up there. You can purchase the tickets. Special guest Kim Whitley. That is going to be so much fun. And also Kim's sitcom starring Kim Whitley, uh, Tisha Campbell, and Yvette Nicole Brown. It's called After Your Age. And uh, that's coming out March 24th on B Ounce. Bounce. <laughs> B Bounce. B Ounce. <laughs> B Ounce is hilarious. On um, Bounce TV. They're even talking about a second season. Uh, and they haven't even showed it yet. It's a uh, Bounce TV. And it's very funny. Why, uh, listen to Kim's Audible. KYM. Just everything, huh? We get people Audible. asking. Oh, so and watch ahead. the Sherry show. And you watch it, but I'm on a show called Harlem. You can oh, binge yes, that. You are. I, I don't even know when it comes on, who it, where it comes on, but Harlem. I watched it at home. It is on Paramount Plus or Apple. E Apple. Apple? I don't know where. Oh, you just have to look up where Harlem is. I'm There's on so Harlem with, with Lil Rel. It was good. I play Shaniqua's mother, the very loud one. And also I'm, a, I'm on Sex Lives of College Girls, which is on uh, MGM Grand. MGM, damn it. Uh, HBO Max. HBO You're Max. Everything, don't and uh, I think I got a movie out. Oh, it's called The Way Out, which oh, I was one of the executive movie, producers. Right? Yeah. But I forgot what's point. Oh, okay. Can I tell you something? Yes. Monique. Amazon Prime for Harlem, by the way. Thank you. Amazon listeners. Prime for Thank Harlem. Renee, the way out Andrea, is on Fubi. Kimberly. Fubu, Fubu, Fubi, uh, Fuji. 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 Yes, on the Fuji. Huh? I'm just Fubi? saying thanks to all the people who said that. Okay, I'm going to do this. Y'all have got to see Monique in the scary movie called The Reading. Oh, right. Remember? I oh, my gosh. And my boy did the movie. He did? Who was it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Kim just finished the movie, too, at Christmas again. Oh, oh. I got this oh, oh, you do need to go in another room. <laughs> She's doing her Weight Watchers oh, meeting at the me? same time that we're doing the podcast. How you take it off the quiet? How you make it quiet? I don't know. Hit mute. 
that don't quiet it's the people. all the people talking but do you have to do it here you would turn down your, vo your volume on your speaker on the left side of your phone okay. Kim. Yeah, yeah just so they can see me as they're, they're so that's all the stuff that kim is doing is here. <laughs> and she's the leader of the meeting Oprah? 50 minutes late she goes i think kim's just finished her podcast because i <laughs> sent it a little listener called the oh is are we too loud oh oh my gosh the girl has a ww meeting going on at the people, same time people like have, have said for for me to help you end the show people. why would we end this she got and then if you swipe it's a bunch more of people oh my gosh let me tell you who met somebody on bumble who chrissy metz Chrissy Metz from the, This Is Us. She met her boyfriend of two years on Bumble. No a, a music executive. A music executive. He ain't no okie doke. He he stopped being a music. <laughs> when I tell you, can I tell you all of the horrible, I didn't meet horrible people on Bumble. They just wasn't like up to oh, par. Oh my, they, just, they can hear oh, us. Oh, the, all her WW people can hear us on oh, the podcast. Do you think that's so a good idea? Wait, we how got, do you do the unmute the thing? You got to ask Chris. I don't know how you do unmute. Oh, good grief. Wait, oh, I got to scoop it. Oh, jeez. They can hear us. <laughs> no, they can't hear us. I love it. On the podcast. Because we be talking about food. They All I'm talking about food on the WW, how to stop the food and not eat the food. And it's a great because you've lost a lot of weight on WW. So y'all, WW, Kim's the ambassador. But we be talking about my and legs you know. and i got hot flashes and i'm i'm tired i gotta go to bed because i gotta go to 4 okay. 25 in the morning you okay. guys watch for kim whitley on wednesday i'm doing the podcast wednesday on the sherry show i'll Jeez. be on the sherry show on wednesday so make sure y'all watch it tell them tell my posse tell them I, t I lied. I, Sherry, I thought it was Valentine's Day too, but it's not. Because we had a talk with the team and they they all said they didn't know if Kim was going to be able to handle herself live. on Valentine's Day. So on live, they, they feel like... We couldn't do food. a live show with Kim. We didn't know. We couldn't trust her. That's the truth. That's hilarious. So y'all watch it on... Uh, y'all watch, Sher watch Sherry's show every day. But Bounce TV. I'll be here on Wednesday. The Sherry show does air on Bounce TV. Oh, hey, also, good. thank you to the 1,600 plus people who have been tuned in all night. It was a surprise live. Two Funny Mamas fans for all the joking we said about the weird comments. You guys are awesome. Thank you for tuning in and supporting. We, I took it off of Kim because she's doing she, uh, How are you going to put it back on me? Okay, sorry. That's our podcast. But y'all, so I, can I, I'm going to Y'all, thank you so much for uh, watching and listening to Two Funny Mamas. She's, One mama, I'm going to go over here and steal everything out of her. Oh, I had to get up out of her dressing oh, room. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. So Kim is doing her WW, her Weight Watchers meeting. She's very committed to uh, Weight Watchers. So she's over. Go in there and sit on the couch. I'm going to lay on the couch. Okay, lay on the couch. So she's in my dressing room uh, doing her WW meeting. And I'm supposed to take her out to dinner to a steakhouse. We got reservations for 730 <laughs> at the steakhouse. Oh, my God. Um, they set aside a private room for Kim and I. And it's now 8 o'clock. Um, but I'm tired and I want to go home. I have some catfish in the refrigerator. I'm going to warm it up. And I'm going to drop her off at her hotel because I'm not going to be able to take Kim's mouth all night. She's going to be complaining all night. And there you go. I don't know if there was any questions or comments. I'm Here, a little delicious. Let's let's you're you're tired and I will take the advice, but we'll get a couple more comments. What do you think? That sounds good. Okay. It is weird. So this it's is crazy. you should look into the camera so all the people that are mad that I'm keeping you on, you Sherry Shepherd are an adult and you are choosing to talk to your fans a little bit longer, which I would think they would appreciate. Yeah, we actually like, uh, Kim and I love doing the podcast. That's why we haven't stopped it. It's been hard for us because we're on two different uh, two different time zones. So it's Chris, I have to say, has been really great about trying to accommodate us. And for those of y'all who get mad at Chris, Chris was on his way home in traffic. And I called him and I said, look, Kim is on her way. Let's do this podcast now. So we had to turn around and he was stuck in traffic to get back to the studio and he doesn't have an engineer it's just him doing everything by himself so um he's vi we need chris <laughs> thank you chris wait wait what was that 
Will you repeat what you said? We need you and we mm. thank you for turning around and being stuck in traffic to make the podcast happen. Ew, you know, St. Chris, Louis. Chris has been there since this morning and he's tired too. Everybody's tired, but he really wanted to make the podcast happen. And then at the last minute, right before we were supposed to shoot it, I go, can we do a live? Which he's got to do a whole different um, setup for us to go live. So then he was like, okay, let me do that. And his engineer is not there. So Chris is the engineer. So he's doing a lot. And uh, I think he has some kind of date or something that she probably still waiting at the bar at the corner nursing a drink. My date's and in Chris New York. Probably won't leave her and go home. So thank you very you want much. Some, do you want, by the way, that was very kind of you. You didn't have to do that. But uh, And no. even with all of that, Kim still got mad at Chris and was going off on him for not starting the podcast on time. Right. Yeah. It'll, something will be like, ah, oh, this or that. That's where I was like, oh, we're man. looking at this show. We've got the venue, the Grandel. March 10th, right here in St. Louis, Missouri. B-flat, she's going to join Kim. Kim says maybe Andre. Uh, <laughs> and then some other little surprises as well. But it'll be a hell of a me? show. It's a 500 Andre person. It'll be so fun. it's been going out to clubs, working on a set. <clears throat> Love it. Um, and Andre saw uh, Jerry O'Connell dance with Magic Mike dancers. And he said he thought he might want to do that on stage in St. Louis. He and I said, Andre, who he's gonna be you and Chris doing Magic Mike? And he was like, That's all we need. So I, will, I don't know. If I will. Too. I'll be the. I'll be the uh, sexy announcer that keeps his shirt on because he hasn't taken care of himself like he should. <laughs> I'll bring a photo of what I. What I'll bring my a photo of me at fighting weight. We'll do that. So we'll put that behind Andre as he dances with no shirt right. on. He could dance around an old picture of me where I was jacked. Yeah, let's do that. So, so this will not be called the Magic Mike dance. This is going to be called when we used to be at our fighting weight. <laughs> right. Just Damn. me and Andre and our old geese. Uh, let's read some comments. This is what it's all about. You and the people, Sherry. You into okay. that? Oh, shoot. I said on the live that, oh, shoot, my one of my co-executive producers creed cast is not coming tomorrow oh i i said it wrong they're not coming tomorrow they'll be here wednesday did you say she that said, on the live sherry, she said sherry you telling everybody the creed cast is going to be here tomorrow and they won't be here tomorrow it's wednesday i think so like all the paparazzi will show up they're gonna be mad because i said the wrong day i'd be forgetting like a lot of people watch this podcast were we live when you said that uh-huh I don't even know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, so that so I said it so that's wrong. Uh they said she said the fans are gonna be at the studio looking for them. <laughs> and they gonna be mad. Ooh, if I oh yeah, no creed the creed cast is not gonna be here tomorrow. Ooh, so no sir. Please do not come looking for them. Kang Kang and um Killmonger will not be no at the show. They're not even gonna be here Wednesday. Oh, how I get that wrong? I get my dates. Look at y'all. This is like the calendar. I get dates and stuff mixed up. Because I told him that um, Michael B. Jordan was going to be here tomorrow. And they're not coming. They're not even coming this week. She said fans are going to be here. Oh, Lord. They're going to be mad. I don't. You know what? That's why you got to just follow Sherry Show TV. That's a good. Uh, on Instagram. <laughs> uh, Darletha has a very funny comment. Uh, for the Andre Chris portion of the show. No, Sherry. It'll be called Then and Now for Chris and Andre. I love that movie, by the way. You remember I that like movie? That. Um, all right, here we go. She said it several... Uh, Sherry, have you seen Magic Mike, a very sexy movie? I want to hear your take on the movie. Isn't that like a 15 years old? Lynn no, it's Brown. a new one now. Shout it just got released Lynn. Friday. It got released Friday. That's what I'm saying. Amy Schumer uh, rented a theater... And to show a private showing of Magic Mike. I, I was going to go yesterday, but I didn't want to miss the Super Bowl. So I'm probably going to see it uh, this weekend. And then I will say what I thought about Magic Mike. Got it. The new one. That makes sense. Yes. Um, yes. Let's see. Patty says, what was the hand gesture you were doing today imitating Riri? No, we can't do that again. No, I can't do it on that. I couldn't do it on my show. But right at the beginning, Riri... You know, when people touch their breasts or they touch their crotch, Riri touched her crotch and then she smelled her hand and then she put her hand out. Yeah, we had the photo of it. it. I thought yes, it, was, it was, uh, there's a New York rapper, her name's Ice Spice. That's like her thing. 
Oh, that's what she does. Well, okay, not, so maybe she doesn't do the smell. She bends over, grabs it like like a wipe. <laughs> she goes like leg split and then comes through. It's a it's oh, like that's a thing. The, well, the way Rihanna did it was very uh, it, I she did it like it smells good, <laughs> and I was like, people are there. I've I apologize. I don't see uh, I don't see who who wrote it, but somebody said they she sent out the island breeze when she blew that over. That was it. I like that. I wish I'd had that joke. Oh my gosh. Any other comments? Uh, yes, a couple more. Uh, let's see. Uh, Justina, Sherry, you need John with you on the podcast to correct you. I know. John literally John's, yeah. gets so upset with me because I've been giving out wrong information which I did. Creed is not going to be here tomorrow, the cast. I'm giving out the wrong information. So y'all have to look at SherryShowTV.com. It'll tell you the correct stuff. That's okay, what happens. So, on so we'll do that. So any more questions? We'll get to those, but it looks like maybe we can wrap it up, Sherry. Everybody's really appreciate appreciating that you two came uh, on and did your live today. Here we go. Argelis. This is a good one to end on. Sherry, did you book Trevor Noah yet? Good question. We're trying. You know, so again, it's like the publicists who handle the big stars. So, and a lot of times, like, they have commitments to other shows. So, mm -hmm. we're trying to get Mr. Noah. Girl, you lost so much dang on weight. Girl, please. Wow, you skinny. Right, well, you Good grief. Me, you see me with my coat and a scarf on? It's time to it's go. Time to go. <laughs> it's that time. Here. You can uh, give everyone a proper send off so they don't have to end on me. Let's let me get your screen back. Um, right. and my dope shirt is yes. from Rebel P Customs. Rebel R E B E L, the initial P, Customs. What's and it? They I make... want it. Are you gonna get me some or do I just hit her up? This is new. Did I give you that? No, I got that was my gift from somebody. Oh, my sorry. I just, oh you know, I just opened up the box. No, but this is also sit, sit back. Let me show you. They also Rebel P Customs has has uh, that hat I want. Yeah, which is really cool. That is a cool hat. She has beanies that say that dope cute? and blessed. And she also has a... Uh... That is so cute. Yeah, she... Is it appropriate size? Yeah, it's one size fits all. Kim, don't. Don't. <laughs> don't. It's so they funny. look a little tight. <laughs> Stop it. And people say, I am mean. Oh, my gosh. That is cute. The funniest thing Kim I did when I was out there with her... Kim put her hand up. I have decent sized hands. Kim put her hand up next to mine, but she made it look like she was like half a finger bigger than mine. <laughs> she was obsessed with asking, what if my hand was this much bigger than yours? <laughs> oh my God. I was like, she's crazy. All that. <laughs> <laughs> and then she sat me down and said, you sit there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's it, for you. Ladies, great show. You got the Sherry show. Be sure to tune in for Kim this week. Everything that they plugged already, support that. Anything else, ladies? No, I'm gonna no, go. We're, we're not. Good. We're not going out for steak. We're not. No, so we're gonna I'm gonna go. Bed. We're gonna. Go to, I gotta go to bed. Yeah. Yeah, because we both gotta be here tomorrow, and I gotta be up at four or five. And I four gotta 45. wash my hair. Oh, you gotta wash your hair. The man was like, "Don't you come here?" Which I was like, "Tonight." <laughs> he was like, "Wash your hair, please." I was like, "Oh, oh my gosh, that's so funny." I, well, I did. I washed mine this morning. Cause you know you gotta put these wigs on. You wanna make sure your hair is clean. So I washed mine this morning, and he braided up. I have prison braids underneath this yep. uh, wig. Crazy. Like I look like those dudes on. Uh, I remember I am Legend. The ones who was in the uh, building. <laughs> what, what part of the show was this? Do you know what when I, when John went, Will Smith walked oh, in the I know. building? I know. And it was behind him like. <laughs> oh okay okay. That's what the, that's what out, happened to you if you caught the headed. disease. Yeah, they had that disease. They had the they had the disease, and it was all bald headed. And I had that's what I had. <laughs> they had they had the they got the thing on my head. It's time to go. They got the uh this is the uh this is the uh stocking cap. The stocking cap, yeah. Because they braided my hair up. But, but if I take it off, I look like scroll. Too funny, mamas. Too funny, mamas. Too funny, mamas. Too funny, mamas.